Hey guys, just want to take a few minutes and give a big shout out, big thank you to everybody that helped make this event possible. Um, Rush, Fifth Virginia, Blackjack Tactical, CZ Airsoft, thank you guys so much for everything you did. Um, this really made the event well worth it. It was super fun. A lot of smiling faces at the end of the day. A lot of rain. I'm sure everybody was taking a hot shower at the end of the day. It was just a phenomenal event. And we learned a lot. You know, we learned a lot um, from what we want to do. We're already planning um, a Red Winter 2. You know, we have a lot of ideas to, to help balance the teams. Uh, more, more objectives that are just continuous and self-replenishing. And uh, we want to make it, if you know, if and when we do another one, even bigger. Uh, but I wanted to share some stats. I finally counted everything for you guys. Um, so this is what we got. We got um, as far as, well, we'll do the skulls first. Uh, the skulls, I was impressed. Um, you guys found five of nine. Um, red team took home the prize, the purple one. Awesome. Uh, yellow had three and blue had one at the end of the day. So congratulations, guys. Take that home and uh, get some bragging rights. All right. Make sure people know about it. All right. The next one, kills. Uh, kills was fun. I had to count a lot. Now remember, these are only the ones that were deposited. I, I, I heard a lot of players that had some still in their pockets. So you guys got to remember to deposit, man, so I can count them up. So um, we'll start with blue team had 24, uh, red had 26, and yellow team had an evil 38. So dear God, yellow, what the hell are you doing, man? Um, and then, of course, for the main objectives, uh, blue had 32 Yellow had 33. So looking at these scores, guys, it looks like Yellow really did play one hell of an aggressive game. I mean, what do you got? They're the guys from CZ led by Mr. Jim and Ogre. Dear God, you guys were just slaying them, man. And um, after talking with my leadership, I had a crazy idea. You all right, tell me what you think about this one. Um, if we move ahead with the Red Winter 2, and we have this story of the Ice Age, and, you know, Red had all the supplies. Judging by these numbers here, I think yellow is now the, the king bee. You know, they're the ones that own everything now in the Ice Age. And I think it's only fitting that they, next time, are the center team. And then the Obsidian Lords and the Augments on both sides. What do you guys think about that? Anyway, guys, thanks again. More coming as we prep for the Running Man 3 in March.